Hi lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of What You Eatin'. So for this month, the month of October, I'm going to be doing Halloween kind of themed candies. And so for the first installment, for week one, I'm going to be doing this. It's an eyeball ice tray, fruit flavored gummies. The idea of this are they're gummy eyeballs, and you add some water in there and you freeze them, and then you can put them in a drink, and then you've got like a spooky, creepy eyeball ice cube in your drink. They look pretty great. So in this tray it includes three different colors, red, green, and blue. For those of you that don't live near a Target or can't find this, I'm going to try a couple al alternative ways to make this. So all you need is just a, an ice, tray, ice cube tray and some, some things. So a couple ideas I'm going to try to do is one of, one of the ideas I saw was on Martha Stewart, but it uses a radish and an olive to make a spooky eyeball. And the other thing I thought I could do is I, I'm going to use some candies that I have. Anyways, we'll try it and see if they work. All right, so let's go in the kitchen and see how it's done. So here are the candies that I use, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand. So after unwrapping your candy, knead the candy in between your fingers and begin squishing it out into a disc. So this will be the white part of the eye. Next, for your iris, knead out the candy similarly in between your fingers and form a disc. For the pupil, I'm using a junior mint. Use a pair of kitchen shears to cut down your candy so it fits nicely around your pupil. Carefully fold the candy around the junior mint to form the iris around the pupil. And then do the same thing with the white candy as well. So for comparison, here's the homemade candy next to the gummy candy. With a gentle touch, use a spoon and scrape off most of the skin off the radish, but you want to leave some of it behind so it looks like a veiny eyeball. Next, take your olive and cut it in half crosswise. You could use black olives as well. Martha Stewart uses a small melon baller to scoop out a hole for the olive, but I didn't have one, so I just used these measuring spoons that I had on hand and just carefully hollow out a little indentation for your olive to fit. So here I'm placing my homemade eyeballs into the eyeball tray. I'm experimenting and putting some facing down, and I found those ones actually showed up better than the ones that were facing up. Lastly, I included my little radish eyeball. Then fill the tray with some cold water. Uh, you could also use soda like 7-Up or something like that, just as long as it's clear. Then pop them into the freezer and make sure they're level. In a few hours, you should have frozen eyeballs. So I am back with the ice cube trays that are now completely frozen. This was kind of one of my minor concerns is that the ice wouldn't freeze completely clear or bubble free. So I froze the top half of these, as you can see, with the eyeballs facing up, and they're really hard to see. I turned a couple of them over to see if they would come out more so they would be a little bit clearer, I'm not sure. There is the eyeball, that the radish eyeball, which looks pretty ghoulish. And these are the two that I made that are homemade, so I'm not sure how those will turn out either. So let's check them out. So I'm going to give it a little twist. So yeah, these are kind of disappointing. So here's the eyeball with the iris pointing up. This is the back, which is white. I turned some of them over, and there's the eyeball there. And you can see a little bit from the side. This is the homemade one, which looks a little bit more ghoulish, more like an eyeball. And my homemade ones didn't turn out very well at all. Look at that, with the junior mint in the middle. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not really worth the effort. So I'm going to add some water. Oh, that helps, I guess. And then when you add the water, you can see them a little bit better. There you go. You can see them a little bit better. I think the one that looks most like an eyeball is actually the radish one. My water tastes slightly like very cold gummy bears. There's the eyeball. And taste it. Here we go. Mmm. Very cold. It's kind of gross. The flavor's not bad. It tastes like one of those gummy frogs or something, but the texture is really gross. It's really mushy and then kind of hard in the middle. 
Flavor's not bad. Just tastes like a regular old gummy bear or gummy frog or something like that. The frozen process makes the whole outside really mushy, but the middle is like a gummy bear. So, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not sure I would recommend doing this or paying the $5 for it, because the eyeballs aren't really that apparent. I think the other, the Martha Stewart one, was really cool. I think that would really be a fun idea for a martini or a cocktail party. So, happy Halloween! I'll see you next Saturday, and I'll be doing another one of these Halloween -y kind of kits. Take care. Bye! <laughs>